The one day I was supposed to be at work on time, of course I'd wake up late. I rushed to my car, rushed out of the house, rushed onto the highway, driving at top speed while doing the most important thing, applying my makeup. <laughs> Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, understand this. I drive a small girly car. And when I'm in a hurry, this small girly car turns into a Mustang on steroids. And when I was in a hurry, I kept on zipping in and out of traffic, rushing through between all the cars until I cut a big Hummer. Unintentionally. And I sped forward. But of course the guy started chasing me because I had hurt his male ego. And please, don't get me started on that bumper car sticker. Alpha male on board. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we started chasing each other around the, around the traffic, going up and down, until he flashed his headlights. Oh, no. He did not just do that. So I beeped, and I flashed, and the anger started escalating within me, and I thought, I need to teach this guy a lesson. So I pulled over, and he followed me. And I took a deep breath. Who does he think he is? Driving that big Hummer? Just because he drove a big car meant he owns the road? Uh-uh. So he came out of the car, and what I saw was a mountain of a man. He started striding towards me like T-Rex from Jurassic Park. <laughs> and I got scared. I got nervous. My nerves started increasing as he neared my car. Oh my God. And when I looked at him, I got shocked. <gasps> he was that tall. Car companies read to add, warning, objects inside view mirror are larger in real life. <laughs> but the bigger shock came when he just rushed to me and said, ma'am, ma'am, I'm really, really sorry, but it's an emergency. I need to rush to hospital. Did you just hear that? He called me ma'am. <laughs> he apologized to me. He was showing a complete stranger who just beeped and flashed a lot of respect when this same stranger just looked at him and assumed and judged. And that was when I asked myself, why do I always look at people with dirty lenses? And this incident actually repeated itself again at my spiritual retreat where I always go to meditate and reflect. It's called Burger King. <laughs> As I was enjoying my spiritual juicy burger in my spiritual zone with those salty fries, it all happened. In walked this big, bald bodybuilder. And instead of hair, he had tattoos from head to toe even on his face. He looked more like a painting, a work of art. So this guy came and sat next to me, which made me feel very uncomfortable. And immediately, all those images came to my mind. Harley bikes, violence, hard rock music, cigarettes, oh my God. And even though he smiled, I did not want to smile back. So I went back to my juicy burger. And giggles suddenly grabbed my attention. When I looked up, I saw the most beautiful little girl. Blonde hair, big brown eyes, a beautiful pink dress. And she was giggling. And she was tracing the tattoos on this guy's hand, looking at him in amazement with big sparkles in her eyes. And not just that, everything went still when she took his hand 
and kissed it. And I was left in awe. Why do I always look at people through dirty lenses? Why couldn't I be like all those remarkable people who look through clear lenses even in the most difficult of all situations and conditions? Anne Frank did this. She went into hiding with her family for two years in Amsterdam during World War II just to avoid persecution. And despite everything that happened to her, she wrote in her diary, I believe there's goodness in everyone. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, where I come from, my ancestors were pearl divers. And equipped with only a nose clip and a rope, they would risk their lives and dive deep into the deep dark ocean just to catch the most gruesome, ugly shell. But inside the shell lay the most beautiful, luminous, and pure pearl. And regardless of its shape, regardless of its texture, and regardless of its color, this pearl is precious, just like each and every one of you. So in order to find that pearl within others, all we have to do is clean our lenses to find the goodness within each other, to find the preciousness with each other, and to find that pearl. <laughs>